Hey everybody. We're out in the saw shack as you can see. I feel 350 on the bench. Just kind of going over it, making sure things are right with it. This is the time of year to get for me to get my stuff together and get all the saws gone through and checked out to make sure you know they're ready for the woods in the spring and also you know if I get a chance to go out and cut somewhere in the winter this winter is a little bit different than last winter last winter we could get up in the woods a little ways anyway and go mess around we got lucky and found some some, some of those bigger balsams Charlie and I Different circumstances, different snow, different, you know, different, different winter this year for sure. But, uh, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody's having an awesome week. Um, Dragon's Picks was asking about clutches for a, uh, for the 350. And I, I know, it, uh, a lot of people, well, some people don't, you know, don't, might not be interested in it, but there are people that are interested in putting a longer bar on a 350, you know, 345, a whole bunch of different models that are, that are like this one, the smaller model saw. So... Yeah, Dragon's Picks was asking about a clutch because they come with, uh, this 350 came with uh, the spur sprocket. This is the original spur sprocket. And uh, he was asking about switching it over to the rim sprocket style if you wanted to try and it, it makes it it makes it a lot nicer if you want to try it to have that clutch because even if it doesn't end up working out or you want to do a comparison like if you're making a video or if you just want to do a comparison for yourself whatever the case may be if you buy the rim sprocket clutch you can switch it you can switch it back and forth just by taking the clutch off <clears throat> this this clutch here anyway you can you can the benefit of the rims another benefit of a rim sprocket is you can you can switch it from 325 and pull this off pull that rim sprocket off and you can put a 3 8 right on it that's 387 tooth. It goes right on it. <clears throat> so all you have to do is take your clutch off. And bang. It's 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 right there. Instead of having to buy a clutch, a, a whole you know, another clutch that might not be what you want. If you buy a 3-8 spur sprocket for it, then you're stuck with a spur sprocket clutch drum. But this way, you can switch it back and forth and do your comparison to see if your saw has got what it takes to pull a 20 or a 24 inch 3 8 you know. And and this, if you have the if you have the right bar that has the right. Um, bar mount it makes it it makes it better because they they are different this this 24 inch bar is as far as i know is different than a than a 24 inch for a for a regular husky setup or still setup or whatever so that but the tip 
the tip will be the same as long as you're you know you get the right gauge and all that set up and whatever but yeah so so as far as the clutch goes I got this one I got the, I picked this up this clutch here up off of Amazon it's a I don't, I don't know how to say the word properly so don't chastise me because I don't know how to say the name of it but I I just call it a, a high shine hay shine something h a i s h i n e Haitian hay shine high shine whatever but it comes and it's off, this is off of Amazon and it came with the clutch drum the 72325 sprocket and the clutch and the needle bearing it came with all that and it was like i don't know it was like 20 bucks or something and then plus on top of that your shipping or whatever so yeah if you want to if you want to go through amazon just go through amazon um hl supply sells it they have the same kit or you can just buy the drum the the clutch drum and it comes with the the 325 sprocket and then all you got to do is find a small spline, three eighths, Oregon. This uh, I use Oregon, but still is is going to be the same. You just need the small spline. It's the same deal. Yeah. So anyway, just thought I'd cover that for Dragon's Picks. If there's any other questions, you know about it, leave them in the comments and. I'll try to get them answered. Mm. Gosh, that's good coffee. We got a <clears throat> got a mixture of uh, of coffee yesterday on the live. I was my what was in my coffee cup was my uh, the coffee that I carry when I go out elk hunting when I pack in. We use instant coffee. Because it's in little packets and it's super light and you can pack a lot and it, it's and it's kind of a treasure you know out on the out on the mountain you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can still have a a decent cup of coffee I know it's instant coffee whatever but think but you know if you think about it if you're packed in you're living out of your backpack for seven or ten days yeah any kind of coffee is a bonus so yeah so I got that. And I got and I got some of uh, some of the Bushman's the Bushman family's liquid gold homestead honey. So what I got in this cup is I got hazelnut coffee with homestead honey. Hazelnut homestead honey coffee. <laughs> oh man. Oh it's delicious. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't get it. I, I got it like, I can only have the honey on special occasions, and this is one of them. This is one of them. I had to try it with my, with my mount, with my mountain coffee. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. This sauce seems to be pretty. It, it's doing good, <clears throat> to for me. You know, for what I'm going to use it for. It's, <clears throat> it's uh. It's a good running little saw, and it cuts pretty. It cuts deep. It cuts good. You just got to get your filing right. You know we've talked about it before, but you got to get you got to get your filing right. You know filing's different for for um, basically for every saw. You know, like if you're gonna if you got a saw that you're gonna go do some falling with, you don't want it too aggressive. If you got a saw that you're just going to use for just standing up and bucking, it can be more aggressive because you're using you're using out here out this part you know the 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 far end of your bar and chain. You're not hugging it in here and 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 dogging it in. You know, I mean, if you if you don't understand that, take your saw. If you have a saw, take your saw and go go cut with it. 
cut with it with the wood right up against the dogs and 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 see what ha and see how it acts listen to the rpms listen to the you know how it's pulling the chain and then make that cut and then back off and use the and use the end of your bar out to the tip it'll tell you if your chain is it'll it'll tell you if your chain is sharp if it's stand up and buck sharp anyway because if it's not stand up and buck sharp it'll 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 just start revving you can make a dull chain cut by putting it right up against the dogs and, and you know and working it that way to an extent of course you know if all of your teeth are just jam rocked whatever it's not going to cut no matter what but you can but you can tell how aggressive your chain is it's why bucking puts that to me it's why bucking puts the end of his bar out on the log and just feathers the throttle and lets it eat down through and if it's not hopping if it's hopping you know it, it's going to be a little bit more aggressive it's going to be a little bit hungrier and if it just sits there and spins and doesn't do nothing well it's dull it, it there's just no if ands or buts about it if it doesn't go down into the wood it's dull and you don't want to cut with a dull chain with the dull chain it's it's not it's not fun. I, I don't I don't care for it. The only you know, yeah. Keep your chain sharp. And keep your chain sharp and sharpened. It's like the rakers. You know? It's why they the people that make the raker gauges is why it, it's why they give you different settings. So you can make it more aggressive or less aggressive for different situations, different different saws. Like this saw it doesn't it doesn't need the rakers shaved right down you know because you because this saw this particular saw i don't know about anybody else's 350 i don't i i've never been around anybody else that ever ran a 350 <clears throat> but this very saw in my hands works well with this 24 because if you can keep it higher in the RPMs, because that's where this saw makes good power, is in a higher RPM range. It doesn't have a lot of bottom end, it doesn't, or a lot of low end. You know, it doesn't have a lot of low end torque. So you would think, well, why do you put a 24 inch bar on it, and why do you put 3 8 chain on it? Well, I put a 24 inch bar on it, and I put 3 8 chain on it because that's what I have. I don't have. A whole lot of three two five stuff and a twenty inch bar on this for what I do is not it's not long enough. It's it's pretty, but that's that's why this saw, this very saw is set up the way that it is. Because I don't, I'm not gonna dog it in, a lot. You know, if I have to, yeah, I'm gonna, but most of the time I'm gonna be using this part of the bar out here and keep the RPMs at a, at a higher rate mm, man. so yeah dragons you can get these you can get the kit just put in for a, a replacement either the replacement clutch drum rim sprocket you gotta mention the rim sprocket or of course it'll come up with the spur sprocket and you can get it from uh, Bailey's Bailey's has them. They have the Oregon one. They're, I don't know, 26 bucks, 28 bucks or something, I think, at Bailey's. It might even be 29 bucks at Bailey's. And I think it only comes with the drum and the sprocket. But that's Oregon product. This is, I don't know where it's made. But, yeah. And then just get you. Small spline, three eighths, seven tooth, or whatever you want to run on it to try it out. And if it don't work, then just put that three two five back on it and go with it. Because you could you can run you can run a, you could make a three two five. I could turn this bar this twenty four inch bar into three two five, just by changing the tip. And then I gotta go, you know, take the clutch off and put a 325 sprocket on it. But as long as your gauge is the same, as long as it's 50 gauge, because that's what I run on everything, is 50 gauge. 
and 325 I run still chain when I run if I run 325 it's still chain because I don't think Oregon I don't think Oregon makes and I don't think Husky makes uh, chisel tooth but I know still makes chisel tooth <coughs> Yeah. Yep, and that's the only that's the only three two five I have. The only, the only thing that I have that's any like small like that is uh, is my top handle saw, my T four thirty five. It, uh, but it runs three eighths low pro. So that's all. That's different all the way around. Here in the future, I'll be in the on in the search for a 14 inch lightweight for it. Yeah, just a little uh, just a little help for dragons. If you just in case you didn't get the numbers off of the live, I know it was kind of spur of the moment type thing, but but yeah, get a hold of me. If you uh, if you got any more questions, anybody, and these this will fit the as far as I know it'll fit the 357, 359, 450, 345, 353. <coughs> as far as I know, that's what it is. So yeah, they're out there. HL Supply, Amazon, and Bailey's. Or your local Husqvarna dealer, they might have it. They might, they'll, if they have it, they'll probably have this one. Because I don't know if I don't know as though uh, I don't know if Husky made one. <coughs> they might have made one for the 357, 359. Because I don't know what those came with from the factory. I'm pretty sure I know this one this uh, this very saw right here came with the 325 Th this the spur sprocket we're sure glad that that GoPro worked for the live feed <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah, this is the stock one. It's not in bad shape, but I don't know. I'm a rim sprocket guy. That's for sure. You can try different things with them without having to buy a new clutch drum. Definitely more versatile in the chainsaw world. Yep. Pretty good coffee. <laughs> Let's tear the top off this thing. This is the time of year I check all the, you know, all the bolts. I don't want to grab a saw in the spring or middle of winter. I gotta go cut a tree. I don't want to grab a saw. <clears throat> Get where I'm going and not, and you know, and have things start falling off of it. That's no fun. That is no fun. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And thanks to all the. To everybody that's been hanging out for the long haul and everybody in between you can come off there that'd be all right with me needs a little cleaning Plugs tight.
filters tight. That's one thing I haven't done to this yet is I haven't put a 026 O26 or O36, whatever it takes, that metal uh, intake clamp. I haven't had any troubles, knock on wood. <laughs> I haven't had any troubles with it yet, so. Yeah. I sure like to get out cutting. That's for sure. I start going stir crazy when I'm off work and the weather doesn't cooperate or you know or whatever. And I can't get very high in the mountains and I can't <clears throat> haven't found in a low spot to cut yet. I've been out searching a little bit, but as you can tell we're still in search. Still searching. I'm sure glad it warmed up though. <laughs> that super cold, holy smokes, that stuff's no good for nothing. I like winter, but that cold, man, it really gets to you. Especially as we get older, you know. <laughs> Yep. It's a pretty nice little saw. Haven't heard any coyotes tonight. Not yet, anyway. You never know, they might pick up. What do we got going on here? No, oh, there we go. Yeah, the old GoPro worked pretty darn good. Good picture. And, you know, as we go, we'll work on the lighting situation. Oh, get a full wrap, too. Get a full wrap if you got one of these little saws. They're handy anyway, but... The full wrap handle is, is so handy and so... It's just so much nicer for so many different things. You know? Like... You saw it will tip over and slide all over the place in the back of the pickup. If you don't have a, you know, a saw log with slots cut in it, and you just put your put it in the back of your pickup, it, I mean, it's going to move around some, yeah, but it's not going to tip over, it's not going to wear, you know, it's not going to wear on, it's not going to wear on nothing. So, I mean, it, it serves a, it serves a purpose without even running it you know and the you know the felon felon dogs keep it from putting the chain in the dirt this also helps with that you know it balances it out so it's not laying there all cattywampus <coughs> when you set it down it's it's set down it's fairly flat you know even on uneven ground it's still gonna sit you know like this and it's way less apt to tip over yeah get you a full wrap your wrists your wrists will thank you this one will thank you very very much every time every time you run a saw your your left wrist will thank you <laughs> yeah, pretty nice little setup. 
Pump Pump. It's good to see you around, buddy. Sorry, sorry to hear you got sick. I'm glad you're getting better. I am glad you're getting better. Don Lewis, get to feeling better, buddy. Indiana Doug. Yeah. Get to feeling better. Go send go send all those guys. Dan Kane's custom Kane's Customs. Custom Garage. Yeah, go give those guys some some love. They're all sick and not feeling good. And anybody else out there that's <clears throat> not feeling good or got the flu or whatever, we're pulling for you for sure. For sure. Anybody that was on the live feed, holy smokes, that roast was just killer. Oh my goodness sakes. It's crazy. It turned out really, really well. <laughs> For the first time I've ever done anything like that. You know, in a, out over the fire. That cast iron is just, it, it's the way to go. If you like cooking outside and you haven't cooked with cast iron yet, get a setup. Get a setup and start cooking with cast iron. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. Yep, and if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. That's what I'm here for. Just to help, you know, when I can. Or find help. In the saw community, we can usually get it figured out. And I've, I've missed a comment. I apologize. <laughs> it's not on purpose, that's for sure. Just trying to stay busy and 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 and, and trying to have you know and, and still having fun all at the same time. <laughs> and it is fun. I'm having a blast. It's uh, I know I've said it before, but. I really, I really, really want to thank everybody for when when a new subscriber comes along, you know, the way that everybody treats new subscribers, old subscribers, the comments, the positives, our, our, our channel is, up until this point, our channel is, the, the rating, if it, if it means anything to anybody out there, it might mean somebody, you know, somebody might want to know how our ratings are as far as you know likes dislikes you know positivity it's like 90 overall it's like 99.4 percent positive you know and if you know and thumbs down it, it, it it's support for the channel it, you know I appreciate all of it I appreciate all the feedback you know, people want to, you know, have questions about things or, you know, like on the live and, and like on this, you know, the, the quality, is it, are we, are we there? Are we, are we doing, you know, are we doing good? We doing bad tips and tricks, you know, cause I, I, like I've said a million times, I am not a technology person. I, I have, I have totally gone beyond what I ever imagined my technology ability to be and I want to thank I want to thank you guys I want to thank you I want to thank you people for that because you know things 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 change and and things you know I, I'm nowhere near you know up to up to par as far as technology goes but 
but I'm way better than I was before I started YouTube. And before I started, you know, it, there's a purpose. And, you know, there's a, there's a purpose here. And my purpose here is to, number one, give people a positive place to go. Number two, growth within within myself and within my family. And that's the other thing I want to thank you all for is for welcoming and and accepting and and uh, responding to my family the way that you have. It's awesome. It's awesome. If if you if you knew if you knew Mama Taz before she started her channel and all that kind of stuff, you know, camera. No, wasn't on the camera. Get that thing away from. I mean, even just for a picture, just for a picture, let alone a video. You know, that is growth to me. That is growth within my family. Is you know, and and it's all of your support that creates that and keeps that growing. It's it's awesome. It, it's so it's just amazing, just amazing. So, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's a, it's an awesome journey that we're all on, and I'm glad that you're all here. And I'm glad that you are here and enjoying it and, and finding finding something, whether, you know, whether it's, <clears throat> whether it's a happy place to be, you know, a, a comfortable place to be, you know, what, whatever it meant, whatever, whatever it is that you find here. I, I'm glad, I'm glad you're all here, because you're all here for different reasons, and for different, you know, different, different, you look at the channel different, you know, diversity is, is pretty, is pretty awesome, I love it, so on that note, thanks everybody, don't forget, don't forget to go see Butler Outdoors Canada. Yeah. Go check them out. Go see the Bushman. <laughs> Thanks, Bushman, for everything that you do, brother. We love you. The Taz family loves you, buddy. All right, everybody. Take care. Be safe. Love y'all. Tasman is rolling. Be kind. <laughs>